Republican state lawmakers say they're working to put more money in your pocket. Yesterday, representatives in the House introduced House Bill 8, legislation aimed at reducing the state's income tax rate. Sponsors of the bill say it's their way of helping boost the economy after the, pa the pandemic, but naysayers say it has the potential to be devastating. WLKY's Manash Kunwari shares the reaction from both sides of the aisle. This is going to be the best thing for Kentucky. Republican State Representative Kevin Bratcher is no stranger to controversial legislation, but he believes Kentucky House Bill 8 is not one of those. In his opinion, it's one of the most important bills in the Assembly. There's just not any economic growth when you have a high income tax. Right now, Kentucky's income tax rate is at 5%. The goal of House Bill 8 is to lower the rate gradually until it's eliminated entirely. If the bill passes, the first rate reduction would come as early as next January to bring the income tax rate down to 4%. A move supporters of the bill say would put about $1 billion back into taxpayers' pockets. Whether you're rich, poor, or in the middle, you're going to see a, a benefit to this if you're a working person. And uh, the more money you have in your pocket, the better off the state will be. For many I spoke to, there's no doubt this bill could be beneficial in the short term. But in the long term, one man I spoke to says... It could be devastating. Reason being, businesses like this would have to pay for it. Uh, we would have to make huge sacrifices in other ways. If passed, nearly 18 different businesses like car rentals, Airbnbs, and Ubers would have a sales tax added to their services to make up for the loss of revenue. But Executive Director of Kentucky Center for Economic Policy, Jason Bailey, says those businesses are just the start. We're going to see public schools. Uh, without teachers uh, or without funding. We're going to see uh, people lose their health care. Uh, things like health departments that we've relied on so much in this pandemic are going to get slashed. I mean, there, there will be consequences. The bill has many steps to go through before being signed into law. But Bratcher says if state lawmakers have goals of improving the Commonwealth, it shouldn't be a long time. It's just uh, a matter of getting it done and get it done this session. Manoj Kungwari, WLKY News. The bill had its first reading in the House this week. It has been assigned to the Appropriations and Revenue Committee. Louisville Mayor Greg